Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Here I show you a page I've not really did that. It's it's left over. You know I worked with polyfiller, this stuff you're filling holes in the wall with, on some other pages, and I had this left over and slapped it on. Oh, that's pretty cheap cardboard here, I think. And I made some marks in the other pages and did that here as well. And it looked quite nice. And I thought I I use it, but I had to crop it right and left. Um, to get the size I wanted that it fits into my journal. I use different tones of yellow, a lighter one and a darker one, and blend it into each other. And that's how it started. I didn't really have a plan, so I went for this more springy colors, yeah, and uh, dilution paint in orange, blend it into as well. And I put quite, had, I put out a lot, and I, I put really a lot of paint on so I put that page on and dab it off and I spread it out by dabbing it with a dry kitchen towel. Um, this is Opera Rose, actually I love this color, I recently discovered it and forgot to show you how I put it on but you can see I did it in the same way then the other colors spread it out and blend it in and that's it. So now I'm planning to make a glazing that is the acrylic glazing and the olive green from Winston Newton and I use one part each and then I mix it properly and put it on the page and um, I use really fairly thick on this very textured areas because I wanted to have it in into the gaps a lot and on the on edges where it's flatter without a lot of texture I put it on thinner and that's now the case of waiting, waiting until you think you have the right point of drying, um, yeah, or not to dry. It always depends on as well as how hard you rub it off again, and you can control it in that way a bit, where you want to have it a bit more intense, you're not rubbing that hard, and yeah, so it's not planning, planable 100%, but a tiny bit, it's up to you. That's it. I let that dry and then I start stamping and I use this paper artsy stamp and um, I can't tell you what the set is called but they still have it, I know that. So, And I'm using this uh, flower silhouette here and I, my plan was to use um, Stazon but that was dry. Mm, great. I, I wasn't up to refill it so I went for this moment, memento and that didn't work. It, I, I didn't press it properly and it was textured and so it was luckily wet enough or didn't dry quickly so that I could remove it with a baby wipe and um, I dry that again. That it's, and then I do it again, take oh, the page off and I put my head a bit over it that I know I'm between textured stuff and press it down properly and then it worked yay so but it this dye takes a time to dry so I'll keep that in your mind and then in the same set is this moth and I thought oh come on make it or stamp it with black acrylic paint because when that goes wrong I can definitely remove it but that was a perfect impression so I kept that and I yeah ground it here only with an ink marker, nothing special. Do some scribbly lines and then blend it out a bit. That it has something to stand on, of course. Shouldn't hovering in the air. So I go around with my micron liner and uh, wanted to define it more. And then while I was working, I got loser and loser and loser and at some stage I started to scribble and sketchy lines and all that stuff and it looked nicer so I made more you can see me here now starting with my wild scribbling and sketchy lines making and I will do the very same to the moth above that gives a more diffuse look. I think I, I like that much more. And that's it. And now to the word. I use this clarity stems, the alphabet, and I will this time use a German word. 
it says Schattenspiel, and that means simply shadow play. You know, where you can make shadows with your hands on the wall and you have a crocodile or a bird or whatever it is. And um, that's what it means. I go with in with an, uh, a grey marker to put some shade in on <laughs> shadows. Schatten, Schattierungen, we would say that. We would call it, call it in German Schattierung. So, and then I go in with my white Sharpie and put some highlights on. And that's it already. I will show you a close-up now and I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun making it and I would be absolutely thankful if you give me some thumbs up and leave me some nice comments and um, I hope I will see you soon with my next page. I will be away for a while so it will be a bit quiet on my channel for a few days and but I will be back soon so I hope I see you soon guys. Have a fantastic time. Bye bye!